Hey guys, in this video we will talk about the very important topic in front-end development that is DOM manipulation. We will be building a simple application that you can see on your screen from scratch by using React Material UI and basic concepts of DOM manipulation and along the way we will learn uh, what kind of interesting features we can build in our front-end applications using DOM manipulation. So I'll, I'll just uh, give you a demo on what this application is. So in this application there are a bunch of cards that have been put together in the grid layout and uh, when we uh, hover over any of these cards the, the color of the card changes to red and also the card rotates by an angle of 360 degree and if we hover over it again the color of the card changes back to yellow and it again rotates by an angle of 360 degree in anti-clockwise direction so uh, i've built these features uh, with the help of dom manipulation using plain javascript and react so uh, if you look at this application so it has created uh, this kind of this kind of effect on the front end so to build uh, such uh, the idea of this video is not to uh, learn about how to build this application which is basically useless it doesn't do anything but the idea is to learn what exactly is dom manipulation and how we can use it to make our applications more interactive and user friendly so before we start uh, building this application from scratch uh, i uh, recommend that you subscribe to this channel to watch more uh, interesting content on web development so let's go and get started with some code so guys i have this react application which is running on my local host and uh, we will remove all the default stuff in the code and just write hello world to test this application so this is working fine now uh, we should actually start working on its front end part building all the cards and the grid layout so for that we will install a package that is material ui by npm install command so let's wait until uh, this package is successfully installed in the application So guys now uh, this uh, package has been successfully installed we will import some components from material UI that is a grid and the card component that we are going to need to build the grid layout and all those cards that we see saw on the application. So let's uh, remove the hello world and uh, let's start by creating a grid container which will contain all the grid items and uh, all the cards below below uh, under this component so in this container we will give a spacing some kind of spacing for each grid that will will be part of this and under this let's create a uh, one our first grid item So here in the grid item we can specify that on a smaller screen we want this grid item 
uh, size to be 12 and on the medium it, it can be 6 and on the large uh, we can keep it 3 and under this let's create our first card component and uh, in this card component uh, we need to give uh, some kind of text let's put hey for now and let's see how it looks on the front end so we can see the card now uh, maybe we should go and apply some some form of styling to this card to make it look more interesting so we'll define a card style here and uh, we can write all the css above this functional component in this card style function so here uh, we can give it a height of uh, 200 pixels to make it more uh, look more wider and uh, let's give it a background color of yellow and let's see and now it looks much better now we need to bring uh, the text in the middle of the card so we'll give it another property that is uh, line height which will be same as the original height of the card that is 200 pixels so now the text is in the middle let's uh, give a card some kind of margin from the top and left to make uh, to position it better the so margin top would be two percent and on the margin left we can give probably one percent so now the card looks perfect we can assign some id to this card to uniquely identify this card in the entire html will will give it a id of card one so our first uh, card is ready and uh, it looks fine on the front end now we can copy this entire grid component and uh, multiply multiply the cards four times so let's copy this grid three more times so we have total four cards and we can change the ids from one two three and four so on the front end we can see four cards now and actually uh, we need 12 cards so let's copy this one more time so we have eight cards seven and eight let's see how it looks yeah we have eight cards now so let's copy this one more time to complete a total of 12 cards on the front and we can again uh, change the IDs of the cards to uniquely identify each and every card in the HTML. We will see uh, what is the benefit of assigning ID to these cards in a moment. So for now let's assign unique ID to each of these cards. So our layout seems to be ready and now this entire HTML that we have written and the return is basically the entire document we call it a document and now let's apply some event listener to the first card in the list on mouse over when we hover a mouse over this first card we need to do something we need to basically um, do two things when we hover over this card and we will define uh, the, this within the function handle mouse over so we'll define this function above this react component handle mouse over and in this uh, function we will be writing all the dom manipulation that we need to do to build the feature that we have seen in the demo so in this function first we need to find the element where we need to uh, apply this dom manipulation so for that 
we'll do document dot get element by id document is basically the entire html document that we have written at the bottom and from that document we need to access we need to have a access to the card one and on this card one we can apply some kind of dom manipulation uh, on this card element we can change its style so let's change its color to red when somebody hovers their mouse over this card so you can see when when we hover mouse over it the color of text changes to red now let's change its background color to red instead of color so when we hover over this card the color changes to red so this seems to be working fine for the moment and uh, now let's improve the logic in handle mouse over actually we want this to happen for all the cards not just for the one card for all the cards so we will make this more dynamic so we will get the id of the card from where this function is getting fired from the uh, from uh, the card from where this event is getting fired so for, to do that we'll do let id is equal to event dot target dot id and let's put this id inside this get element by id so now refresh this application so it's not working i think we have done some mistake in the code let's go back and check again yeah we forgot to apply this function on all the cards so let's copy this function and apply it to all the cards all the 12 cards once we apply this function to all the 12 cards this feature should be working on all the cards if we hover over any of the 12 cards the color should change to red let's go back and check again if all this feature is working yeah it seems to be working fine as soon as we hover over any of these cards the color changes to red so this is basically the dom manipulation we are manipulating the document when user is interacting with this website when user is putting mouse over any of these cards we are changing the color from yellow to red so let's improve this logic a bit more we can say that if the color of the card is yellow then change it to red else change it back to yellow so this will this will make it even more uh, interesting let's see what it does now so when we hover over the card the color changes to red but when we hover over it again it changes back to yellow so you can see how powerful the dom manipulation can be and we can implement such good features on the front end with dom manipulation now uh, we are missing one feature here we also had the feature of rotating the card when the user hover over these cards so let's go and apply that feature as well for that we need to change the logic within this function a bit more so here uh, what we can do is uh, on the element as of now we are just changing the background color on the element so along with the background color we can put one more property that is um, transform so as soon as uh, somebody hovers over this card we want to transform this and rotate it by 360 degrees and along with this we need to also mention the transition time 
let's correct the error let's go back and see uh, so now we can see that when we hover over the card it rotates by 360 degree but it happens only once if we hover over it again then nothing happens it happens only once so when it, when we hover over the card once it it rotates by 360 degree it's happening only once right now but what we want is when we hover over it back again it rotates anti-clockwise by 360 degrees so for that we need to apply the same logic within the else statement as well so we'll copy the these two <coughs> lines from the top and copy it in the else as well and change the angle to minus 360 degrees so now you can see that when we hover over it again it rotates but in the opposite direction so we have created the effect that we were trying to create so all the DOM manipulation is happening within the handle mouse over function so if you are able to understand what exactly this function is doing you can do a lot of things with DOM manipulation so you can see how this application is has created a very interesting effect on the front end <coughs>